Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori swordlord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Where are they? This is taking forever! They didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Greetings, everyone. I am Swordlord Jamandi Aldori. And this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well... None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around, or whatever it is you do. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. That's a good point. As I see it, this Stag Lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? 
We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. Hi. My name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? <laughs> I have no doubt. Kind of related, I wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. <laughs> and then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but she kind of scares me just a little. But I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right, I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. <laughs> 